Hello? I'm Wataru Yamada, searcher at NTT Docomo. Today, we talk about YAN screen, a new screen that can switch projection surfaces using a wire grid polarizer. As you know, projecting images using a projector has become popular. For example, projectors are used for presentation, decoration, art, and many other purposes. Projection method can be roughly classified into four categories. The first is the front projection. It is the method to project images on the front of the screen using opaque screen and the projector. The second is rear projection. It is a method to project images on the back of the screen using the transparent screen and the projector. The third is both-sided projection. It is a method to project the same images on both sides of the screen using a one or two projectors. The last is double-sided projection, which projects different images on the screen on the front and back using two projectors. Normally, each of these four methods require different types of the screens and the projector's position. For example, the front projection requires a front projector and an opaque screen. Rear projection requires a transparent screen. The double-sided projection requires an opaque screen and projectors on both sides. Thus, to change the projection method, it is necessary to change the projector's position and the type of the screen. In this presentation, we propose YAN screen, which easily switches these four projection methods with two projectors on only one side and a special optical screen using polarization. We explain the configuration of the devices. First, two projectors are installed on the front of the screen. Each projector is equipped with a polarization filter. The left projector has a vertical polarization filter, and the right projector has a horizontal one. First, let's turn off the left projector and operate only the right projector with the horizontal polarization filter. As you see, the image on the rear side of the screen disappeared. But the front side image is still displayed. In other words, the state is the front projection mode. Next, let's turn off the right projector and operate only the left projector with the vertical polarization filter. This time, the front side image disappears, but the rear side image is still displayed. Thus, it is a rear projection mode. Finally, let's operate both projectors. As you see, different images are displayed on the front and back at the same time. So it is a double-sided projection mode. Of course, both-sided projection mode is also available by projecting the same images from the two projectors. Therefore, the proposed method can easily switch between four different projection modes. We explain the mechanism of the proposal method. The proposal method requires two projectors with polarization filters and special optical screen. This screen consists of three layers. The first layer is an anti reflective plate, the second layer is a transparent screen, and the third layer is a wire grid polarizer. The key component of the screen is wire grid polarizer. The wire grid polarizer is a beam splitting polarizer consisting of many fine metal wires placed in a plane. It transmits light polarized in a direction orthogonal to metal nanowires, 
but it reflects lights polarized in the direction aligned with them. Thus, when horizontally polarized lights, red line, are projected, an image reflected by the wire grid polarizers appears on the front side. In contrast, when the vertically polarized lights, blue lines, are projected, an image that passes through the wire grid polarizer appears on the rear side. These two lights can operate simultaneously, so it is possible to display different images on the front and back. This is the mechanism of the proposal method. We consider that the proposal method has various possible applications. For example, this is captioning application. Each side shows a translation of the native language for each user. It can also be used to display virtual avatars. Normally, when an image of virtual avatar is projected on a transparent screen, the same faces are naturally appear on both sides of the screen. The proposed method can correctly display the front image on the front and the back image on the back. Recently, transparent partitions have been installed in various places to prevent infection. Our method can be used for augmented reality using the transparent partitions. These are pictures of the proposed screen in each mode taken from angles of 0, 30, and 60 degrees. As pictures show, all modes are working correctly. However, the pictures in 30 and 60 degrees are darker than the ones at 0 degrees. It indicates that the screen's diffusivity is weak, so its field of view are narrow. Besides, in rear projection mode, the rear image is slightly visible on the front surface, that is, the ghost image. In the paper, we also discussed the method to hide the ghost image and evaluate the optical performance of the proposed screen with a spectrophotometer. Thank you for your attention.